In this lesson, we'll conclude a review of additional topics and math concepts We're in the official PSAT practice test, section 4, calculator permitted, question 26. Given the right triangle ABC above, which of the following is equal to B over A? And we have some trig terms in the answer choices. There may be one trig question on the PSAT, and if there is, the first step is always to write out the mnemonic, so, ka, toa. And this is just a mental aid to remember the relationship of size with trig functions. This first one is for sine. It's the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, those two sides. This is cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tangent opposite over adjacent. And so we want to find which of the following is equal to B over A. So B over A. Let's start with this angle right here. So if we went to this B, we know that would be opposite. And then this angle here, or this side, that's adjacent. I know there are two adjacent sides to this angle, but it's the one that's not the hypotenuse. And by the way, Sokotoa only applies to right triangles. So if you have a question involving trig functions, and let's say it's not a right triangle, let's say you give a triangle like this, your first instinct is to split it up and make it two right triangles. So going back to this question, B is opposite, so this is the adjacent side. Which of the three is defined as opposite over adjacent? It is tangent, opposite over adjacent. And so B over A would be the tangent of this angle here, this large B, and the answer is D. And there's one more piece of advice I just want to give you for trig questions. It probably won't appear on the PSAT, but on the SAT, it, this has appeared on every practice test. Just one concept I want to review and it states that the sine of an angle equals the cosine of the complementary angle. We know two angles are complements if they add up to 90. So I can prove this to you. Let's say we have a right triangle and we'll just use a familiar one. You'll use three, four, five. You know that's a special triple. So let's say we want to find the sine of this angle here. So what's sine? Going back to our mnemonic, it's opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so the opposite from this angle is four, hypotenuse is five. So we know that the sine of that angle is four-fifths. What's the complement of this angle? Well, this is 90. Again, Sokoto only applies to right triangles, so this is what's left from this angle because we know that these two have to add up to 90. This is the other 90 from 180. So let's find the cosine of that angle. And cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is right next to it. That's not the hypotenuse. Over the hypotenuse, you see that's four-fifths as well. So keep that in mind. It does come up on the full SATs, this one co-function identity.